Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will do some activities inspired by a very hungry caterpillar story. For this you need a pipe cleaner, a cherry tomato and some punched yeah, leaves. We are going to make a very hungry caterpillar. Okay, so the, we have a cherry tomato, a pipe string and some leaves in which there are holes. So what you have to do? You have to make caterpillar's head by cherry tomato and you have to feed him leaves. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Don't just push the water out. Yeah. Now he wants to eat. He's very hungry. He wants to eat some leaves. Can you make him eat? Oh, look like a caterpillar. No, from here. From here. You have to eat. See? Hey. He didn't eat it. Oh. Yeah. So Shania, on Saturday, he ate a lot of unhealthy food. So now he has to eat leaves to feel better, isn't it? Good. Well done, Shania. I can't really see his head. Yeah. Enough leaves, so we are caterpillars ready. No, he can't eat me. For this, you need red paint, a green paint, and a mixing bowl. Yes, in the paint, touch it, touch it, and make his body. Yes, again. <laughs> now, do it again. Do it again. For this you need a straw, a tomato, a sliced cucumber and some cream. For cream. that you have to put this cucumber inside and this will be caterpillar's body like this from here. Yes, do it with all the cucumbers. What are we making? We are making a caterpillar. I'll show you how you make. We're not making a caterpillar. This is a like a boat. Wait. And now you can. This is caterpillar's head. You can put it here. Just squish it out. I don't want to squish the water out. It's okay. This is his nose. Oh. Okay. Yeah. They're out. Yeah. Can you hold this side. Yeah. Ow. Can you press it? Yeah, that's it. So what is this? A it's a caterpillar! Very hungry caterpillar. Let's read the story now. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. I'm so hungry, he thought. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. Mmm, strawberries is my favorite too. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. 
the very hungry caterpillar then ate through one green leaf and he started to feel better the next day. Now, the caterpillar was no longer small. He was big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a small hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and a beautiful butterfly. Don't forget to share and like and subscribe.